You'll ever need. Good day, my friend. The land. A thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say this is an honor to die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! <laughs> Altair, my friend! Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again, what can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. Banwazi, infidel, you infidel, will die. Oh, you will die. And there's here. nothing to deserve it. After him, faster. Don't let him get away. Curse the Christian, Christian king and his army of infidels. They go. <laughs> Why is he running around? 
He got away. Let's go. He got away. Let's go. Find his squares in all the land. You won't find battle prices anywhere. Exactly what you need. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Should Richard take Joppa, there will be no stopping him. You are not, don't you? chance to begin that city is ours has always been ours and it is our duty to defend it until death the crusaders <laughs> that should teach him not to be so careful let me get out of your way stop it please you're hurting me die thief wait up i got you to die here Get away from me! Get him! Find him! Get him! <laughs> he probably ran to some other part of the city. He's not here. Let's look somewhere else. Army. They leave horrors in their wake. See someone. Salah Hadid rides to meet him, that these barbarous acts might be avenged. Pray that God, glorious and exalted is he, finds favor with us, that he may grant us victory. No, please don't leave. Just a few coins, please. Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and what is that man doing? So comes the English king and his infidel army. They leave horrors in their way. Mm. Salahadin <laughs> rides to meet him, that these barbarous acts might be avenged. Pray that God, glorious and exalted is he, finds favor with us, that he may grant us victory. <laughs> Praise be Salahadin! He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no mistake, this is our very existence we are fighting for. The infidel king would see us all wiped from the world. We must resist. We must push back. The fires of war consume the land. And thousands of lives are lost in its defense. What is that fool doing? It's a tragedy. But I say, this is an honor. To die in service to God, fighting for what we believe in. There is no greater glory than this. Be wary, friends. The Shaitan is everywhere, watching, waiting. He tempts us always. Be strong, strong like Salahadin, and take up arms against our enemies in whatever way you can.
He also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind it. Be about your business. As you wish. Be strong, strong like Salahadid, and take up arms against our enemies in whatever way. You can't! Don't come to the English king and his infidel army. Point. All I ask is for their their keep doing. Take room. Please, you're hurting me. Finest wares in all the land. Thief! You are filth! Ah, you seem to know exactly what you want. I like that in a customer. <laughs> we are the two children of God. You, sir, you look like you need something. You'll find it here, I'm sure. <laughs> We are the two children of God. You've no reason to be out here, old man. Come, have a look. You won't be disappointed. You've no reason to be out here. There's a problem. I need your advice. What is it? This morning, I went to hang the lanterns for the party. And this troubles you why? I... I forgot to remove the scaffold. Forgot it where? Just outside the Merchant King's quarters, above the balcony. W what if it falls? It could be hurt. Too late to do anything about it now. Just hope it isn't noticed. You can deal with it tomorrow. I think I've seen everything now. <laughs> God save him! He's gone mad!
You can create diversions with dead bodies. Soldiers will leave their posts to investigate them, allowing you to enter the area they were guarding. You have no business! You are not supposed to be here. Leave. You are not allowed. Leave. I'll take you down. Over here. Kill him. It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah ad camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. 
You'll find everything here, my friend. There's nothing I do not have. I'm tired of never finding anything useful at the other What you need. I'm sure of it. Take a look. See if I'm not right. I'd leave if I were you, before I really get angry. What do you want? I need food. I'm so hungry. Just a little Come, money, have thank a look. You. you won't be disappointed. Then let I take it. My good people, your search has come to an end. I have anything anyone Salah could possibly Hadin. need. He has found the strength to stand in defense of our great civilization. Make no I mistake. I beg of you. I beg of you just Could a I few coins. I interest you in some of my wares. I have exactly what you need. Please, sir, have any money? I have many things. Oh, many things. Oh, yeah. Yes, come, come. Let me show you everything. I stand before you to deliver a warning. Should Richard take Jaffa, there will be... Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. A few coins. The fires of war consume the land, and thousands of lives are lost in its defense. It seems a tragedy, but I say this is an honor. For the money, I said, check it.
Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Most excellent, most excellent, thank you. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you! You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel! Oh, do not feign ignorance! Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whispered behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> Kill anyone who tries to escape. from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah Dean's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? 
You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? 
Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Now we all should fight. Die, die, Infidel. Infidel. You must be busy. I understand. Focus on your target. Let nothing distract you. Yeah! 
will make you Don't let him get away! Ha! Your presence annoys. No reason to stand here. Leave. Finest word in all the land. Stop it, please! You're hurting me! <coughs> you know, you could have been more careful. He's gonna hurt himself, and when he does, I won't help him. Is that? Mm. Mm. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all.
This'll teach you not to steal. Why are you doing this? What have I like done? Me. This'll teach you not to steal. Help me! Somebody help me! Let go of me! I've got nothing wrong! No! Please! Don't leave like this! Just Coins, Go away, oh. peasant. You do not <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> <at> <laughs> <much>. <laughs> Your life ends now! You won't get away from me! Oh, so now you think hiding like a rat can save you! No! Oh God, don't kill me! Oh, it's you, Altair. You scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Are you a friend of mine? No, no so get away. <laughs> Watch yourself. You do not ever do that again. Have I made myself <laughs> <laughs> I should kill you where you stand. You don't wish me any harm, I know. Just be more careful. I need food. I'm so hungry. Just a little money. I beg of you. Are you well? Come, come. I beg of you, sir. I beg of you. Just a few coins. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
What a relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open, even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. of sound mind. What's he doing? Forbidden for you to be here. You dirty thief! I'll have your hands on that! Die, thief! <laughs> what have I done wrong? Upon Saladin, a plague upon his people. We came in peace to the Holy Land to spread the message of Deep our Lord. Lord that that this war war war. Turned away. They Yell all you want. Help. It changes Please nothing. Help. Please, anyone. What is it now? Nous obéissons, Seigneur, le seul, l'unique. Wir können tun, was immer wir wollen. You fool, I could have died. Are the weapons of our Please, I've done nothing wrong. Why are you doing Someone this? Someone tell me why he's doing that. Help! I need help! Please! <laughs> anyone! Glaubst du wirklich, dein Gott schert sich darum, was mit dir passiert? You be quiet. No one's going to help you. I'll have your head. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be quiet? No one's going to help you. What this do? What news? Grim. I finished my scout. A direct assault won't work. What's the trouble? Archers. He's got them all over the fortress. And no easy way to reach them. They'd pick us off before we'd made it ten feet inside. You've kept a record, yes? Aye. I've marked their positions on a map. Bring it to the others. No doubt they'll have a use for it. Very well. I'll go at once. Stay strong, brother. Yes. And you.
Glaubst du wirklich, dein Gott schert sich darum, was mit dir passiert? 